and I seen an airplane, and it was flying pretty low. And he tried to, he looked, looked like he wanted to come down and hit the trees, and then he just he glanced up, and he just rolled over to the side like that, and, and went nose down into the woods, and that was it. Tower was on board a commuter plane operated by Atlantic Southeast Airlines. Flight 2311 was headed from Atlanta to Brunswick, Georgia. The former senator was on his way to a party in Sea Island, Georgia. His literary agent was throwing the party for the senator's new book, Consequences, a personal and political memoir. Tower's daughter, Marion, was traveling with him. She, along with the 18 other passengers and three crew members, were killed. Astronaut Sonny Carter was one of those on board as well. He flew a secret military mission on the shuttle Discovery back in 1989. The crash site was difficult to reach. The plane went down in thick woods. One of those first on the scene described what he saw. Well, it looked like just a hole in the ground. Uh, none of the trees were knocked down. It looked like the plane probably went uh, vertically in. And uh, we couldn't see too much other than the tail section because the fire was still burning and there was a lot of smoke. The last communication between the pilot and the Glencoe control tower came just about 10 minutes before the crash. All was reported well. An executive of American Southwest Air says the turboprop did not contain a flight data recorder, one of two black boxes. Federal investigators are on the scene right now. The area will be secured for some time. Into the night and probably tomorrow too.